You wanted a desk that just goes with you all the time. Well, here it is. It's really easy to make. So let's see for ourselves how to do that. So I made a video day or two ago about how this Nomad Art Satchel, like, what I really liked about it was the fact that it became this item that you could just have at the hip and then you would basically have a desk that you then you know you, you then you draw from so let me see where you know you kind of get this very simple m maneuverability to move around the room in and one thing i said that was to you know if you want this you shouldn't necessarily need to buy the whole bag to get it you should just make it yourself and in this video, I will show how to make uh, something similar to this, which is which you'll be able to use at, for instance, a life drawing event where it makes sense to bring it with your art supplies and you just put the things on the board. So a lot of people, they already know are familiar with just p having a piece of wood and then you have that and then it's quite good, but you know it gets tiring for the arm to hold this, especially if you end up having a lot and also. Like it's kind of fickle to put down and up again, and so uh, I'm just gonna drill some holes in this. And uh, for this, you need some kind of standard drill, or just a six millimeter drill bit or something like that. It just it just needs to be something where you know you can fit a piece of string or rope through. And then if you are below fifteen, you should probably get your parents' permission to do something like that. So I'm just going to take this. And since this is not something that will be watched, we don't really, we're not too scared of having a bunch of splinters going on. So you get a nice little hole like that. I'm just going to make one more down here. This time I'm just gonna wait, turn around and see if I can drill through from the other side since now I have a hole through. And no splinters. That's a very easy way to do it. Throw some sandpaper. Just clean up the edge a bit. So now I'm gonna put a piece of string through it. Two cuts of straight. I'm just gonna do a simple knot here. Not nothing too dangerous, you know. And then I'm gonna fit the nut through, and that should make everything nice and snug like that. And this this won't go anywhere. The same will be done over here. So these are my two hoops. I'm just gonna bring this one through as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this camera strap I have a leftover camera strap I have and that would be pretty sweet. So now I have this. <clears throat> and with that I can now put it in and I will achieve something that is Quite similar and to the normal art satchel, but this is a much more lightweight experience. So if I disengage my sketchbook here, and because why would you? I mean, why would I do this when I already have the the nomad? And that one thing is that for if I only need this function from the bag then the bag is actually very thick and heavy and not really delivering much more. This I will be able to fit inside a bigger bag and then get a lot more items in it basically. And so now I have this. And it's a pretty similar experience. Like you could then put something on the wood that would make it less slippery or you could like make a 
a, a pencil holder where like you could basically stick in like you could take some rubber cement or gum and just like that so you could just like put your pencils in but most of the cases when you are doing something like this where you are just walking around uh, say for instance like the way with this is really useful is a life drawing so I took my skeleton here and, and I just draw him right or you could also just picture like a, if you have a model here then you know you say oh okay cool 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 like a, and you draw one angle but it might be a longer pose and then you go okay well I'm, I'm done drawing from this angle and what you'll be able to do then is to go and you know this perhaps find a better angle to, to work from. So you go, ah, okay, cool, cool, cool. And you see that's, that's more like it. So now you will get a, a better angle. And I think that this is where I really got a lot out of having the Nomad was to just use it like this uh, as basically a transportable desk on my hip, basically like this. And it's really simple to make, and I think that since a lot of us already have pieces of wood lying around, I mean, you probably have, maybe you can, if you don't have any wood and you think wood is too expensive in the shops, you can probably just go second hand and then just like knock a, a shelf off something, and then you will have your piece of wood. And, you, and if you don't have access to a drill, somebody in, in your neighborhood probably has one. Yeah, that's it. I mean, this is a, a really simple, item to to make uh, I think it's a really worthwhile thing to invest in to have something proper and also now you will see that this thing because it's actually a bit bigger I can actually rest my whole sketchbook uh, before I had to hold up my sketchbook anyway so that kind of defeats the point of it and you can make this any size you want though I think that if you made it like enormous then you would probably have a, a, a whole new problem so that's the simplest way that I can imagine making an equivalent to the best feature from the Nomad Art Satchel. And this one is, I think, is in this scenario where if you just want to have something where you go to a place and you're drawing around, I would probably end up using this much more because this fits into anything. So that's it. That's the conclusion of this. If you make one of these, I would love to see it. Uh, just because I think it's a, it's a fun, a really fun item and I would love to hear how you have been using uh, like the, the walking desk and like, uh, like one thing that I would suggest trying is to just uh, like go for a walk and then you know you just draw everything that you find interesting it's kind of kind of an interesting experience always having like your desk in front of you like ooh wow what's that uh, you, you can allow yourself to be much more curious when you know you, you don't have to get up again if you sit down or something. You really have it, like you, the desk follows you down. Uh, and, and that's something that I, I really, like when I allow people to borrow the satchel, that was like something that they talked about, that they liked. But I don't think necessarily, for just this feature and how cheap it is to drill just two holes and put a piece of string in and using a left or a camera strap or any strap for that matter, uh, I would just make it yourself, so that's it.